Hey YouTube, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. It's Carol's react. Carol reacts, and uh, we just been waiting for you because we've got an awful lot of music. We got over twenty one hundred videos, and it's good music. We pretty much specialize between like the fifties to the nineties, but we take some right out it's outside a little newer than that. But I'm taking music that was music, that wasn't computerized or... They did start with some synthesizers, using synthesizers in it, but as far as auto-tune or pitch correct, no, it wasn't that. So, I see these kids with the channels now, and they say, uh, play, play me so-and-so from the Bee Gees. I say, who's the Bee Gees? Well, they know now. And that we had such good music. I don't know where it's gone. But uh, come on by and search my library. <laughs> it's becoming a library. Uh, go on in and stay the day. If you enjoy it, please hit the subscribe and the like and post notification bell will let you know, will notify you whenever I drop a video and Comments and requests are please. Okay, I'm gonna let you go now because we got a request coming up. Uh, I have a request for uh, Bonnie Raitt with Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Love has no pride. I'd like to introduce to you my favorite singer in the world, and I'm totally serious. She's there? Miss Bonnie Ray. part of this history. They asked me to sing this song with them and I said anything for you guys. Just walk out my door
That was Love Has No Pride, and it talks about heartache and longing. And Bonnie Race performed it several times, and it has desperation in the face of lost love and deep sense of regret and a willingness to do anything to regain a lost love even if it means swallowing your own pride. Bonnie's rendition, especially when performed with Crosby, Stills, Nash, adds a layer of emotion and intensity. Raw and honest emotions conveyed in the song. The first time I heard Love Is No Pride was when Linda Ronstadt sang it. And when Linda Ronstadt came out, I, I'd never heard the songs that she had done. This was in the 70s, come on, you know. And she, she made a career of doing covers almost. But um, I saw this was Bonnie singing with Crosby Stills. <laughs> And I, Bonnie Raitt's got such a great voice. And it's such a mixture of, I forgot what she called it, um, homegrown, something like that. I really don't know, I really don't remember the genre. 
but it's got, you know, it's got some country, it's got blues, it's got folk, got a little bit of bluegrass, a little bit. <laughs> and she just, you know, she made the song wrong. She didn't sing it anything like Linda Ronstadt sang it. But that, oh, and their harmonies, their harmonies were so good. And I imagine they have been doing some singing for 30 years. And yeah, that was special. That was really special. Okay, well, let's go on and post this. Bye, y'all.